Hello everyone. Welcome to the course Agent Force for Everyone. In this episode, we are going to see what are the common issues we are facing while creating and using agents. In the previous episodes, we have seen how to create a agent, how to create custom actions with flow, with apex. But in this, we are going to see what are some of the common issues we are facing and how we can debug those. So I have already created a custom object called book, which I have a custom field, which says the quantity of the books. So I am going to create some book records first, which I have already set up. As you can see, I have two records. One is the secret, which has quantity hundred. The other one is black beauty, which has the quantity 50. So now the requirement is, Whenever a user asks, give me the total quantity of the book secret. So the agent should respond 100. For that, we also have a agent which has a book management topic. In this topic, I already set some instructions that book name is a required field and user must provide the name of the book in order to get the quantity. If user has not provided the book name, then show this message, please provide book name. If we go to the topics actions, I, I have already created a flow, which is getting the name of the book and returning the quantity of the books. So if you look at the flow, the first element we have is get book quantity. And I am getting the book record with the help of name. This name is coming from the agent user. Once we get the name, we, we try to find the book record. And then we are going to assign the quantity of the book to the quantity variable. This quantity variable is an output variable, which we are sending back to the agent. For that flow, I have already created a custom action which you can see here. So this is a custom action, which has an input variable and an output variable. So these are the variables which we have created in our flow. So whenever a user prompt the name of the book, the agent will pass the name of the book to this custom action. And this custom action will pass the name of the book to the flow. Then the flow will return the quantity, which we are going to display to the UI. If you want to learn, how we can create our first agent, how we can create our first custom action, you can go to this link and then you can watch it. Now, I will show you what are some of the common mistakes which we are facing and what, what is the error which we are getting now. So let's say, this is my agent which is currently active. And now I'm expecting from this agent to give me the quantity as, as soon as I enter, please give me the quantity for the book, let's say secret. So let's ask what is the quantity of book secret? So we got the error. So the error we got in the flow. So basically the agent read the instructions based on the instruction, it fires the flow. So basically when we ask for the book, it selected the book management topic and then it fires the action, which is available in the book management. The flow got the name of the book, but it didn't re return the quantity of the book. That means because this service agent has a user, Einstein service agent user. So we need to provide the field level security permissions to this user in order to get the data from the book custom object. So let's navigate to this user. So as you can see, there are already a permission set assigned. So I'm going to use my custom permission set. So 
so this permission said i have created in the previous lecture but i can use the same here as well so if i go to the object settings and if i go to the books as you can see there is currently no access available for this user so let's edit this permission set and let's provide the read create and edit permission and also provide the edit access on the quantity we can also provide the read access but edit is also fine save so now the einstein user has full access for reading the books for creating the books and for editing the books so let's say what will happen now so if i refresh my agent and if i ask the same question so as you can see oh because we just added the permission set and we have not assigned the permission set to the user so let's go to the manage assignment add assignment and i'll select the einstein service agent user next assign done so the permission set is successfully assigned i'll refresh one more time and ask the same thing okay so now you, if you notice we don't have any errors but we still don't have the quantity why because this is a custom object and if you look at the sharing settings the sharing settings for the book is private that means the user has access to the object to access to the records to read to edit and to create but this records are created by a system admin let's look at the sharing so this records are created by a system admin that's why the einstein service agent user cannot access those records so now we have two solutions one we can provide a sharing directly from this record let's say if i type einstein i can provide the read access or read write access directly from here if not then i can change my default internal access from private to either read or read write so it totally based on your business requirements what sharing you want to enable for what user so for now i am going to change the book internal access to public read only and save so the changes will take a couple of seconds to reflect let's go and refresh our agent and ask the same thing so now you can see the agent is successfully able to get the quantity of the book and the agent also return the response that the quantity of the book this is 100 let's find the other one what is the quantity of book black beauty so now you can see the quantity of the book black beauty is 50 so these two are the main important permissions which a developer always forgot to provide so a user must have a field level permissions on the object and also the sharing settings must be either public read if not then you need to create a sharing rule or you need to create a apex sharing or a manual sharing according to your business needs so i hope you understand what are the common issues while creating a agent force we face and these are the resolutions if you have any questions or any concerns you can reach out to me on linkedin and i'll see you in the next episode thanks for watching